Hi, I'm Collier Spring with the Avid Pro Audio team, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Avid Pro Tools S3 in this series of videos. Let's dive in, shall we? This episode is about assigning Pro Tools automation modes with the S3 control surface. The automation function switches are on the right side of the faders on S3 and are assigned as follows. F1 is right, F2 is read, F3 is touch, F4 is off, F5 is latch mode, F6 is auto match, F7 is trim mode, and F8 brings up the automation mode window in Pro Tools. To access the advanced automation modes, pressing the 9 through 16 switch shifts the F switches to, you guessed it, functions 9 through 16. F9 is preview, F10 is right to start, F11 is punch preview, F12 is right to end, F13 is suspend preview, F14 is right to punch, F15 is right to all or selected, and F16 is right to next. There are two different ways of assigning automation modes from the S3. The simplest way is to hold the surface shift key and press the record switch repeatedly on the channel you wish to change the automation mode, scrolling through the modes. The mode will loop, read to off, to right, to touch, to latch, to touch latch, and then back to read. To do this to all channels, hold Alt on the S3 surface while holding surface shift and select the record switch. To do to selected channels, hold multi-assign and surface shift to scroll through the modes. The different modes will be displayed both on the DAW mixer channels and on the surface OLED displays as you change them. The second method is to directly assign modes from the eight function switches on the S3. The direct method is to hold the automation mode switch you want, then select the channel to be assigned. To do to selected channels, hold the multi-assign switch, then select the mode you want. To do to all channels, simply hold Alt on the S3 and select the automation mode. Assigning automation modes from the S3 surface is simple, easy, and an efficient technique that will save you time and keep your creative flow moving. Be sure to see all the videos in this series on the Avid Pro Tools S3 and read the S3 User's Guide. Uh, multi-assign due to selection.